Hello everyone, this is Zayda Golami from Agreement Stop Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to get a least squares regression line in Excel. So before we get into the, the main question in this video, which is how to get the least squares regression line, I want to uh, give some explanations about regression. So probably you know, but for who may not know or may not be familiar with the topic, I'm going to uh, talk about regression. So regression basically is a relationship which can predict the dependent variable based on the, the independent one. So let's say, for example, the amount of food one eats and the weight weight of that person okay in here the amount of so let's get into here the amount of amount of food one eats relates to the body weight Okay, so let's say this is the scale, and in here is the number, let's say 60 kilograms. What, what I want to say is that there is an independent variable and there is a dependent variable. Using regression relationship, we want to understand how is uh, the food one gets affects the weight the what body weight okay and then in in regression line what is the regression re line probably you're familiar with correlation what i'm talking about is something like this you have a scatter plot you have the data in it and then you say the correlation between the amount of food and the body weight is let's say um let's say 41 okay and then you can you can develop a line uh for for these data so let's say i want to develop a line like this okay what 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 the question is here is the least squares regression line what it means it means that we want to develop a line which has the least distance to the data which are not covered by the line they are called called residuals so we have some some of the data points which are covered like this one this one if you can see this one this one and let's say for example this one okay probably um those are the lines which are covered by the line but there are still the dots which are not covered by the line so these are all called residuals okay in here I can develop a line like this or like this or like this or like this and there are a lot more lines which I can develop the question we're asking in here is how to make one line which has the least distance to these residuals so that's the question and we're going to answer it in Excel. so in here you can see i have two columns of data height and weight i want to assume that weight is the dependent variable i want to predict weight based on one's height so i want to i want to use the height as a predictor 
and I want to wait to be predicted using a regression model. So what I will do in here is to jump to charts in insert tab. I click on that, I go to scatter and then I have a scatter plot which in which the horizontal axis is height and the vertical axis is weight. So let's change the chart a little bit. I want the data, okay, the chart data. I want the name to be height and weight regression. So in here you can see the the dots are in 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 a line, okay? But the reason why these data are all in a line is that actually I've made these data uh, manually using uh, a relationship. So because I wanted to have data to do this tutorial, I, I didn't have any data set and I wanted to make some. So I just, what I did, uh, I, I did probably, I think, I used this one and then multiplied by, I think, 0 0.3 plus something that I do not remember right now. And then I just <coughs> copied the relationship to all the cells. I, I copied the formula to, to all the cells and then I had the weight column and then I could, you know, I, I could start this video but right now because we want to have the residuals uh, what we do is that I change the sum of the numbers so that we have some other data and some residuals okay so you can see the residuals are visible right now Okay, that's okay. That's cool. So we have some residuals in here. So in here, in order to have a, a better view of, of this chart, I can have the, I can change the X axis. So my data starts from maybe 140. Um, it starts actually from 152 but i can have from 140 up to 200 so I, I guess that's a better view i can still have it from 150 so that's a better view probably and now what i will do is to go for adding a trend line so when i when i when i use this trend line it actually it actually shows that line that we wanted to develop okay the best line in here is this one so that's the line which makes the least squares okay the least distances to the residuals and then in here if i go to this trend line the sign in front of trend line if i click on that i can go for linear so what i want is linear and i click on more options to get to here so i want a linear regression and then another thing that i want is display equation on chart so that's the regression model that's the regression model you have for this data so you can have this this is the slope of line you probably know uh, 0 0.33 is the slope of line is the multiplier to x and then 3.95 is the intercept so using this equa equation you can predict weight based on height Okay, so weight is the y-axis in here. Weight is y variable is the variable to be predicted and x 
is the predictor. Um, so I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next videos and bye.